Hey, good morning. It's Friday already. How did that happen? Gosh. Eight in the morning on the East Coast of the United States, August 26th, 2022. So, yeah, if you watched me yesterday, same outfit. I'm going to get scalped today. going to have my hair cut super, super short. So, I figured I'd wear, you know, an old blouse. So, i take it off later and hopefully take all the little cut hairs off. Actually, my hair is quite long. See? It just curls up. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you know who Richard Simmons is, if I use a hairbrush on my hair, uh, I can end up looking like Richard Simmons with that, uh, you know, 60s, 70s afro. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to have it cut real, real short to get through the rest of this hot weather here in South Georgia. Okay, <clears throat> what am I drinking? Mm. Root beer and milk. It looks like coffee, doesn't it? Okay, so... Um, some of you might have seen on my Facebook page that I plan to sell my Nespresso Virtuo machine, the big machine that uses the big capsules, because I haven't used it in months. And I just, I love my Pixie, the original line machine, this one. because it makes espresso, and I like a coffee with an espresso base. And you may have um, noticed when you go into a lot of you know, specialty coffee places that a lot of coffees that they make have an espresso base. They add more water to it, or they add milk to it, or froth milk, things like that. Well. In order to uh, show this to a friend who was possibly interested in buying it, I went ahead and filled it up with water again. And you know how yesterday I made on my original line, I made my own concoction for like a pumpkin spice coffee. Well, I have this um, Nespresso pumpkin spice cake capsules for the Virtuo. So I thought, well, hey, this morning, why don't I go ahead and make it in this? You know what, though? Look at the water level. I think I better put some more in. Let me get my pitcher of filtered water here. Okay. There we go. All righty. So, um, should I put milk? You know, yeah. I know, I remember that the last time I had this a long time ago now. I liked it best with milk. So this is going to be an eight ounce cup of coffee. And I think this might be 10 ounces. So I wanna be careful and not, well, golly, should I maybe make it Hmm, you know what? Let me put the milk in here for now. I'm gonna give this a quick rinse out because I wanna just show you, uh, this might appeal to you. No, I'm not trying to get you to buy my machine because I'm, you know, I'm not selling it, you know, where I'm gonna mail it to anyone. It has to be local and you know what? If nobody buys it, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep it. Okay, so here we go. You just push the button. So this is, um, rather than pushing the water through the capsule under pressure, it's creating pressure by spinning that capsule at super high speeds. So... Um, it works differently. The original line machines work more like the um, standard 
espresso machines, you know, that you push the little handle down and it, uh, it's forcing water through under pressure. Um, but this one works by creating pressure by centrifugal force. So, and you can see it makes a really big crema. Um, although, as with the original line, different capsules, different types of coffee make different uh, amounts of crema. Also, this machine is much quieter than the original line machine, but then it's, uh, you know, it's not pushing that water through the capsule under high pressure. Um, it's taking time and doing it by spinning it. And just, um, okay, so just to let you know, see those little black marks? Those are, that's a barcode that goes around the outside the capsule. And when it gets in the machine, the machine reads the barcode. It tells it how much water and, you know, how to spin it and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. If you like big crema, <laughs> you got it with this. And then, see, I just, and it falls in here. It's like a little, you know, for the empty capsules. And no, the machine does not just slip and slide on your counter. I've got a little plastic cutting board under it so I can slide it in and out easily to be able to get to it. So there's the, mm. I can smell the, you know, pumpkin spice kind of stuff. And as with uh, all coffees that form a crema on top, the crema is a combination of the oils from the coffee and air, basically, that have bubbled up. You know, it's a little bit like a sort of coffee bubble bath. So I'll give a taste of this, but I know I'm going to want to have milk in it. But let's see. Oh, <laughs> this is, maybe I won't have milk. Oh, golly. Here, this is getting me interested in thinking about keeping this machine. Oh, my, well, okay, I can't stand here and think about it. I'm going to go ahead and put the milk in. Now, because this is an eight ounce <clears throat> cup of coffee that it made, I can go ahead and pour that amount of milk in, like maybe, I don't know, two ounces, maybe a little more, and it won't cool it down because, you know, we've got eight ounces of coffee here. So I don't need to heat it up in the microwave like I often do with my um, original line machine. Let's see. Mmm. But still pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> so truth be told, I liked it better before I put the milk in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you know what? I, I like an uncomplicated life. Um, I say that. I make all kinds of complications myself in my life. But I, <laughs> like for example... I'd like to see a counter with less stuff on it. Um, and I would like to know that every morning, this is what I'm going to do for my coffee and not have to make all kinds of decisions with the many, many capsules there are for the Virtuo and the many, many that there are for the original line. And, you know, I, just too many decisions. Um, I just, I want to make it simple. Okay. So, you know what? Uh, it may just be that life is not as simple as I want it to be. Oh, dear me. 
and and also here I am you know I've been saving my original line capsules and saving well the, these are mostly from my daughter I think the Virtuo capsules and well talk about making oh and then I even have non Nespresso capsules up here oh my goodness gracious I'm not doing very well at making my life uncomplicated, am I? It may be that just getting rid of one coffee machine is not going to be that much of a reduction of complications. Oh, golly, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Anyway, so this is a cup of coffee from my Virtuo, and um, so it'll give you an idea in comparison to the original line that I'm usually making coffee in. You have a good day. Enjoy your coffee.